Hello everyone, this is Alex. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to add and edit the pages that are currently on your site. So how to add your own pages to the site as well as how to edit, um, you know, the existing ones you may have or ones that we've added for you. So once you're at your site and you're logged in, um, I'll switch over here, you'll log into the dashboard. And from the, from the dashboard here, on the left hand side, we're going to want to go down to the section called Pages. And you'll see there's this little submenu that pops out where there's an all pages link and an add new link. We can just click on pages there on the left. And that's going to bring us to this screen. So you'll see on this screen, um, it's kind of a list view of all the pages that you have created on the site. So the first thing to notice here is you'll see all these pages. They're all alphabetical. All these pages here obviously are a lot more than are on uh, the front end of the site here. So on the front end, you know, we have a few pages here and then just those ones you see along the menu bar. Um, so there's a lot more pages that are created within the site, um, but not actually shown on the front end. So you're welcome to create as many pages as you want, and then you get to pick and choose which ones you kind of want to show and link from the front end. Um, or if there's pages you want to create that you just want to link out separately, um, you can do that as well. So the first thing we'll look at is how to edit um, an existing page we may have on the site. For example, this About Us page. So I'm going to click on this About Us page. There's nothing here. This is kind of a sample site. Uh, about us coming soon. Um, so this is where you, you know your bio would be or something about your company or maybe it's your team page um, with all the people that you work with. Um, so say we wanted to edit this page. So I'm going to go back to pages here um, and I want to go down to, you know, there are alphabetical, so about us is right here at the top. So say I want to edit this about us page. I'm just going to click on the title And you'll see by clicking on that, it's going to open up the page in the WordPress editor. Um, this is, you know, like I had mentioned in previous videos, the same editor that you would see when you're editing posts, when you're adding testimonials, a um, bunch of other things on um, through WordPress. This is kind of their standard editor uh, page here. So you'll see about us. Here's the title of the page up here. Obviously, that can be uh, whatever you want, but that's where you would type the title. Uh, the permalink section. So this is where you would add the, you can actually change the um, URL of the page. So it's, it could be, you know, whatever your domain is, .com slash, um, and then you can actually name whatever um, shows up in the, in the domain up at the top there, the address bar. So you can name that there. Um, and then obviously down here is the main content section. So, you know, on this one, we just have coming soon. This is where your bio would be, um, you know, your team information. Uh, whatever page you have created here, this is where all your content would be, whether you've added videos to it or you've added your own images, maybe you have a slideshow or a contact form, um, you know, it would all be edited within this bottom section down here. Um, and you'll see along the top we have some um, pretty standard word editor options up here, a lot of the same stuff you would see in Microsoft Office um, or any other word editor um, up here as far as formatting goes. And then um, I went over some of the stuff in the in the post video as well, but uh, add media button. So say we wanted to add an image to our, our page. I can go up here to the add media button. Um, it'll bring us to this screen here. So you'll see we have two main tabs up the top here. Upload files. So this is obviously where you'd grab anything from your computer that you wanted to add um, and it'll drop it into the, the page or the post there for you. Um, so you would just select a file from your computer down here at that blue insert into page button. It's going to drop it in there for you. The other tab we have here is the media library tab. And if I click on this, uh, you'll see all these images here. This is everything we've uploaded to the site um, at one time or another. So on your site, this would be anything that's been uploaded to your specific site at one time or another, whether we've done it for you, you've done it. Any point in time, anything that's been uploaded is always going to be saved in your media library. Um, so that makes it really easy to reuse something. So if there's an image you want to use again and a new page, um, something you've used before, you can always go to your media library and just select the one you want to add and hit insert in the page that way as well. So that's how we can add images. Um, we do have some other options over here, creating a gallery, um, you know, set a featured image, stuff like that. So you do have other options to play around with over there. Um, adding a slideshow, like I said, um, in another video I'll go over how to add a slideshow, but if you already have one created, um, this is, it's as simple as creating add slideshow and then select it from the drop down. You see we only have one created right now, the homepage slideshow, but you know, you could, you'd have a whole list of any slideshow you've ever created so you can pick which slideshow you want to drop in there and just hit insert and it's going to insert the kind of the code there for you. Other than that, like I said, all the standard word editing options up here. Um, if you are familiar with HTML, you can switch between the text view and the visual view. You'll see the text view. It doesn't look much different because there's no code in here right now, but this is, if you are familiar with HTML, you could use the text view to, um, you know, to, to format things using HTML instead of like the visual editor. Um, we can switch back over to visual. 
Another thing we can do uh, is add a YouTube video. So I did go over this in the post video as well, but the YouTube video, um, you'll see this button on the toolbar here. It's very easy to add a YouTube video to a page or a post um, or you know anywhere on the site really. But if I click that YouTube link there, so it, it walks you through what you need to do. The only thing you need to worry about, you know, YouTube does provide you embed code. Um, if you're familiar with doing that, um, you can always use that the same way um, as you have before or uh, through this functionality here, all you need to do is grab the link to the video. So once you have the video open on your computer, just grab the link up in the address bar. Um, you know, here's an example. Just grab that. It'll look something like that. Grab the link, put it in this box here. You can change the dimensions if you want, um, or you can leave them as the default. It usually works pretty good. But just drop the link in there, hit OK, and it's going to insert the code it needs um, in the post for you. And you'll be able to see it in the editor there so you can work around it. You'll just know that that's where the video is going to be embedded. Um, so it makes it super simple to add YouTube videos. So yeah, any changes you need to make, um, this is where you would do it. And then as soon as you're done, just make sure to hit that update button. It essentially just saves all the changes you've made um, to an existing page. Um, so just make sure to hit that update button. And obviously, you know, you can always preview changes up here in the, in the um, top corner too if you want. So that's how to edit an existing page. Um, real quick, let's go back to pages here and we'll, sh we'll look at how to add a new page as well. Um, so to add a new page, you'll see there's a few different ways we can do it. Add new over here on the side. There's also a button up here. It doesn't matter which one you click. I'm going to click this one. Add new. So here we are at the same editor again, but everything's blank, obviously. So, you know, let's call this new page. And we're going to say this is a new page. So we'll do that. Say this is the page we want to create. We're going to go over here. Um, there are some other options. Save draft. So you can always save a page you're working on. If you don't want to publish it, you can save it and come back and finish it at any time. Um, as it's very handy with posts because if you publish a post, it's going to go live to your site. With pages, they don't go live to your site if it's a brand new page without you actually adding them to the front end. So the second part of about adding a page to your site, once you've created it, you want to add it to the menu up here. Um, so saving it as a draft isn't as important when you're dealing with pages because if you publish it, it's not actually going to show up on the front end unless you physically put it there. Um, so it's okay to publish anything even if you're going to come back and work on it later. But you do have that option to always save as a draft and obviously preview as well. So this is our page we want to create. I'm going to hit publish. And we'll see up here, uh, page published, view page, you can go there. I'm going to go back to pages, and we're going to find it from this list just to show that it has been created. Let's go down here. It's going to be on the next page because it's alphabetical. Um, we already actually had one created. So new page, one minute ago. This is the one we just created. Um, we already had one in here called new page from, from previously. Uh, so one minute ago, that's the one we just created, new page there. You'll see it is there. It's created. If I view it, let's open it in a new tab. It does exist, so there's the title, new page, this is a new page. It has been created, but you know it's not linked, like I said before, from the menu um, here. But I can get to it if I needed to, you know, going directly to the link. So back here. So like I said, once the page is created, we want to add it to the front end of the site. So I'm going to go down here now to Appearance. And this is the one time we do want to look at the sub-menu here. So Appearance, and then I want to go down to Menus. I'm going to click Menus. And this is the, the menu on the front end of your site. This is your main navigation on the front end. So you'll see over here where it says menu structure, um, all the, this vertical structure here, about us, blog, apply now, testimonials, contact us. If we go back to the home page, about us, blog, apply now, testimonials, contact us. That is the menu right there. Um, so this is where we want to add our new page to. Um, so over here on the left, under the pages section, you do have other sections and categories and other stuff you can add, but under the pages section, we can go by most recent, view all, or we can search for a page that we've created. Um, but most recent, up at the very top, new page is the one we just made. So I'm just going to check the box and click add to menu. And you'll see when I do that, it drops it over here right at the end of the menu. Um, so you know now it would come after contact us. But to move anything around, I can grab it and then just hold down on my mouse and I can drag it around anywhere I want. So say I want it um, to come out after about us, but before blog. You'll see I'll drop it right there, and now that's where it comes. About Us has this drop down under it, so you'll see About Us and then this indent, pri privacy policy and the site security. That's how we make a drop down on the site. So those indented ones are the ones that are going to fall under About Us. And then everything that's in line with About Us is going to be on, you know, on the front menu as well. So you see if I indented this, for example, that's now going to be a sub item under that About Us because it's at the same level as these indented items. Or I can pull it back out 
and now it's its own link on the menu. So that's how we create uh, drop down menus on the site. But let's say I want to put it right there. Um, once it's where I want it, I'm just going to hit save menu. Make sure you hit save um, on the screen there. So it's saved. We'll go back to the site and let's refresh it. So now I've refreshed it. There it is, right between About Us and Blog, right where we put it. New page. So I can click it. Now it's on the front end of the site. Now someone visiting the site can get to that page. So that's the second step in, add, in creating a page. Once you've created it, make sure you add it to the menu wherever you want. Like I said, you can make drop down menus as well. Um, another thing we can look at to remove it, let's say we want to remove this page. Um, I can expand the little box by clicking this arrow over here. And there are some other options. We can look at some of these options too. The navigation label. So the page itself is called new page. You'll see if I click it, it's called new page here. This is the title right here. And it just by default pulls that title as the menu option as well. But we can rename that. Say you have a long menu and you want to kind of condense the names that are in the menu uh, just so things fit better. Um, so it's not as confusing. Say you had a really long page name, but in the menu, it doesn't need to be that long, you know. So you can change it up here and then keep the same page name here. I'll show you how to do that. So, so let's say this one's too long. We want to just call it new instead of new page. I can do that. Um, and then down here, make sure to just hit save again. So the navigation label is what changes that. Now let's go back to the front end of the site. You'll see now it's called new instead of new page. But if I click on it, the page itself is still called new page. I just changed the label up here on the menu. So another, another handy uh, feature there, you know, if you're trying to make things fit a little better, look a little neater up on your menu bar, you can, you know, rename everything, but it won't change the name of the page. Um, so let's expand that again. What else do we have here? Open in a new tab. This is handy if um, instead of, if you have a link that you want to include in the menu bar that's not actually on your site. So you have a, a menu option here that's, let's go back to the home page. Say you have a menu option that is, um, you know, apply now and through your company you have an external apply now link, an online apply um, section that's not, you know, hosted on your site here, but it, it's maybe hosted through your company at a different address, Apply Now would be a great, way, uh, a great place where you would link out to, a, um, to that application because it's not hosted on your site. So to do that um, is when we would, we would want to open it in a new tab for, in that situation, just so someone doesn't leave the site, they have that open in a new tab, they're not lost, they still have your site open um, when they're looking at it. Um, obviously, we don't want to do that for a page that's actually on our site. So Again, I'm going to show how to remove this. So to remove this page, so let's hit remove here. And now it's gone. Make sure to hit save when you're done. And now back to what I was saying before. If we want to add a link to the menu that's not actually a page on our site, we'll just go down here under custom links, expand that section. And here's where you put on the URL. So we just want to go to, oops, say you, let's go to google.com. So we want a link on our menu that goes to google.com and we're going to call it Google. So I've filled in the, the URL of the link right there. So, you know, that would be your online application or whatever link you want um, the menu option to go to. And then the link text is whatever you want to call it. Again, that navigation label. And I'm going to hit add to menu. Again, it drops it down here by default at the end. Let's just leave it there for now. And I'm going to expand it. And I'm going to make sure to say open in a new tab. Since it's an external link, uh, we want to make sure the person... Um, you know, viewing our website, who follows that link, has their, our website open still, but then they open a new link, it's going to open a new tab for them. So they can always get back to the site once they're done looking at the link they've opened. Um, so google.com, navigation label, we're going to call it Google, and open a new tab. I'm going to hit save. Now let's go back and we'll refresh the site. So here we are. Here's that Google link we just added. So you'll see now when I click it, it's going to open up a new tab. Here's google.com. Um, you know, it, it opened it externally in a new tab, and then that way, if the, once someone's done looking at whatever link it is or filling out the online, app, online application and they close it, you know, they're back to your site and they still have it open in their browser here. So that's how you can make an external link. And again, we're just going to remove that, hit remove, and save. Perfect. So that was how to add and edit, uh, you know, how to edit existing pages on the site, how to add your own page. Like I said, there is two steps once you've created the page and published it. You just want to make sure to go here under appearance and menus and you're going to add it to your actual um, navigation bar on the front end of the site if that's something you want to do. Um, and of course, if you need any help, please let us know. Thank you.